Until quite recently, one in 10 people living in the United States had Irish ancestry. Irish ancestry? How come? Well, it's all because of this dang potato. You know, not every microorganism has to directly affect a human to cause an effect on history. And that's the case with the potato and the Irish potato famine of the uh, 1840s. We have a fungus here, Phytophthora infestans, that infects the potato. And there are a couple of reasons why this great scourge occurred in Ireland. And there are a couple of lessons that we can learn from this that are still applicable today. What happened? Well, the potato made its way over from uh, South America as a food staple to Europe. And it turned out that in Ireland, because of some of the soil conditions and climate and socioeconomic pressures in that country, the potato became the essentially monoculture food crop of the day. And you could grow a lot of calories on only a few acres and you could feed a lot of people with the potato crop. But they didn't realize, just like the story of smallpox getting into a group who had never seen an infection before, that when they began to just raise one type of potato, they were setting themselves up for catastrophe. In about 1840, a pathogen common in South America, a fungal pathogen, made its way over to Europe with a shipment of potatoes. And then this fungus found its way to Ireland and it found the perfect place to grow and uh, reproduce, and that was the vast potato fields in Ireland. And it grew there, and uh, the way that fungi grow, particularly this particular mold, it would grow on the leaves of the uh, potato plant. It would produce spores. These spores would drop off on the ground, inoculate uh, other potato plants, and then uh, began to kill the potatoes. And for a while, uh, things weren't too bad, but uh, because of the exponential growth factor of, of uh, many microbes and the dissemination of these spores, uh, this infection spread like wildfire within a couple of years. And it was even more insidious than that because the way that you uh, uh, grew potatoes was you would harvest the tubers, get rid of all the vineage and everything, and then the nice thing about a potato is you could store it uh, through the winter and pull this food source out, had a lot of calories in it and consume it. And so as people often would store these potatoes, not realizing sometimes even that they were infected, when they went in their cellars and pulled them out in the dead of winter when there was no other food source and they cut that potato in half, this was a result. It was inedible. Not only was it inedible, but all the potatoes that they had in there then served as a source of inoculum for the next year's crop. Well, you can imagine within a couple of years, even though this Fungi has no effect on humans per se as a pathogen that it caused devastation. Nine million Irish, one million move in a couple of years, one million starve to death. The rest are left impoverished, all because of a fungus and a potato. What's the lesson to be learned? Well, even today, many of our cultures, we rely on crops of a single genetic strain. We're clever in trying to prevent a disease with herbicides and with genetic, even genetic engineering. But out there are even more clever organisms, microbes. And the lesson of the Irish potato famine, I hope, is a lesson we learned and not a lesson we'll learn again.